Hello, my name is Jakub Zdecki and you're watching GuitarMessenger.com So what I would like to talk about today is my approach to songwriting and arrangements. I take a few examples from this first album called Living Mirrors and I would like to explain to you how the instruments in those examples work together. At the end of the video I've got the solo section that I would like to explain to you as well. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the song I'll play for you now is the song called Enigma for Bo. And I picked up the ambient part of that song and so I'm gonna show you what I tried to do to create the space and ambient atmosphere of that part and what kind of sounds I used. I'll start from the guitar. One, two, three, four, Okay, so let me explain the chords for you. I'm starting with uh, D minor 7 and then I'm going down to B flat and A as a root notes. And I'm not really good in chord names, so at least what I can do is to say what the root notes are. So <laughs> I'm going to E flat now and then G minor 7. And then I'm doing a bar on the 5th fret and play something like this. Then D minor 7 again. And I'm going up here. And then again B flat and A. B flat again. G minor 7 again. And F minor 7. C sharp. 7 major and C minor 7 and that's it and rhythmically the whole pattern is pretty much based on uh, syncopated feel to create even more space in that part of the song uh, I was combining with uh, some keyboard sounds and I created the first layer which was uh, some kind of weird arpeggiating noise in the background and it kind of fits nicely with the guitar part and it sounds like this yeah the second layer is uh, I guess windy airy type of sound uh, I was searching for that type of sound because I wanted to feel the, that top end spectrum in some way. The last layer I used is nothing more than just some melody that I took from the chord progression from the guitar bar and to play that melody I used the Rhodes samples and that's how it sounds. And now after that nice ambient break, uh, the rhythm section of the guitar solo comes in. Uh, let me play for you a short part of a uh, drum loop right now. So as you can hear, it's a nice groove based on the rhythm of the guitar, but there was still something I wanted to add, so I tried to put there even more loop.
So I was wondering a lot what kind of bass you want to use here and finally I came up with a slap part which I would like to play for you now. Okay, so next example is a second verse of the song called Message from Atlantis and it's kind of an unusual motif for me because I tried to mix uh, bass and guitar in a specific way. First of all, I took that opening melody of the song and I tried to recreate it uh, in the second verse. I was experimenting with harmonics a lot, so that's something I came up with. And now let's listen to the riff with the bass part. I tried to make another ambient instrument out of it, so that's a bit different approach. I think it fits the guitar very well. The next half of the verse is a bit more nervous one. I made the guitar part more denser to just create a feeling of evolving and to move on nicely to the chorus after that. And let me play that part for you. And now a little bit slower. I tried to make as much ambience and space just from the main instrument, just from the main guitar and bass. So that's basically the reason why there's not too much things going on behind that. And now it's time for the song called Own. That example is actually opposite to the previous ones because it's mainly focused on the guitar riff only and the layer structure is pretty much limited. So here's the riff. Okay, so the tuning I'm using in this song is a drop G and the rest is just in E standard. And I'm gonna play that riff a bit slower. The next half is actually the same and there is that faster lick at the end and it sounds like this. Slower. So if it 
comes to the layers, there's just one path and ambient guitar melody. It's just because of the fact that this motif is completely focused on and based on the, the guitar riff. So let me show you the, the path of the guitar. Okay, so I'm starting with the melody. And then I've got the uh, two notes per string lead, which goes like this. And then we've got the little sweep picking here. Then another melody. Then we've got a uh, uh, alternate picking pattern. And then there's that string skipping. Uh, lick at the end. And on the end of the solo there is a uh, like based on legato technique and it sounds like this. So I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was at least a little bit uh, helpful and inspiring for you guys. I'd just like to remind you that our album called Living Mirrors is coming out in February and you know, the interesting fact is that we're gonna have some really crazy talented musicians that are like David Maximitich, Ula Vujic or Dominic Nyarat. And I started working on my solo music family so you can expect some tunes probably still before the summer. Thank you guys and take care.